The plaintiff in this case says the defendant worked for his roofing company and earned a great salary. He says he was to receive adjuster fees on some contracts, and the defendant made side deals to keep them for herself. He's asking for $953. When the testimony came out during the trial that you had gotten uh, the 10%, you he didn't have to subpoena me to go to the trial. He should have, he could have subpoenaed me. He had my address where I was. Well, wasn't there testimony from the homeowner as to what happened? Uh, yes, Your Honor. In a court of law? Yes, Your Honor. Under oath? Yes, Your Honor. And in a court of law under oath, what did the homeowner say? The homeowner said that Nina Vega, Josephina Vega, said if she tore the check up that she would write her this check for nine hundred fifty three dollars and thirty three thirty six cents. Was this the only time that this happened? No, no, absolutely not. Did you know that it was happening this way? This is the the red flag that brought it all on. Because she's saying you and and she had an oral agreement that she was going to get this money. Your Honor, he referred me to the people, and those people, his friends and family, and then his friends referred me to other people. And then as far as what caused the IRS audit? The IRS audit was back in 2000 for my taxes, for the 2009 taxes. I had emailed him and asked him if he was going to send me a W-9, and he didn't send me a W-9. The first W-9 he wound up sending me said 148000 So then he wound up sending me um, another in uh, W-9 that said for $138,080. Let me get back to the reason we're here, which is $953, because I have a statement from the homeowner that you sued. And it says in here that this particular homeowner, says Ms. Vega later stated that she would issue us a discount if we stopped the check for 2208, written to National Roofing, bringing our total cost to 6361 instead of 7616, so we provided her a check in the amount of $953.36. And this is what the homeowner provided to the small claims court in the other case. Yes, Your Honor. I've got an expert witness, and let's bring Rob Greenspan out to join us here. Hello, Rob. Thank you for joining us here today on Swift Justice. And you are very experienced in insurance adjusting. Been doing this for 36 years. All right. Well, based on your 36 years, when an adjuster is sent out, is there an adjuster's fee? Yes, there is. And what is usually that adjuster's fee? Usual and customary is a 10% fee of what's collected. Where does that adjuster's fee go? Well, in our case, we, we that's what we do. So uh, it would come into our co company, and then commissions, payments would then be issued to our adjusters and our employees. So is the adjuster paid directly? No. Never? No. I thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Of course, ready to roll. All right. You had your company, and you say you had a procedure for how things were supposed to be done. You say no, he had a separate deal with you. What is telling for me is that there was a separate small claims case. And in that separate small claims case, the judge found in your favor, Jeff, and awarded you the money. And the homeowner in that case gave a document or gave a statement to the court which said that there was a separate deal that was done. Yes. Based on that, that's the evidence I need. Court finds in favor of the plaintiff and awards the $953. This case is closed. Thank you. <laughs> the next Swift Justice case starts right now. Plaintiff's oh, wow.